Hey guys, what's up? Today I want to show you how I built this steering wheel uh, with basically the price of a Big Mac, which is really better than those for a hundred of dollars that you can buy today. And so let me give you a quick demo of it. So obviously you can steer, as you can see here on the Seto Corsa. And you also got two buttons here on the back to accelerate, as you can see there and break uh, so without any further ado let's jump into building this so first of all we are going to open fusion and here's it after 112 hours and a lot of effort and stress it is finally done so as you can see here on the back we got the two buttons that i told you the top one i used to accelerate and the the other one to break. You can also put other two here on the side and another four here on the front but I prefer to don't use them but if you want you obviously can. So now it's time for 3D printing. So here is my first try of printing it. As you can see it didn't really went well because the filament was not loaded correctly so I needed to print it another time and now I'm going to go to a bedroom uh, one with a little bit more space so I can show you how to assemble it so here we are at my soldering station uh, as you can see I 3D printed everything and all the files that you are going to need you can find in the description so let me give you a quick tutorial on how to assemble it. So first of all, you're going to pass the axle, that is this blue one, through the hole that the steering wheel have. If you, you want, you can put a screw here on the front to, to fix it. Or you can just use a rubber, use rubber bands, as I'm using here. Uh, it's good to use rubber bands, so if you let it go, it will return to the middle. So it will be really like a, a real steering wheel. So on the other side of the axle here, you will put the smaller uh, gear. And here on the other side, you will put the potentiometer, uh, put this little piece here to fix the potentiometer here in place, and just press this gear against the potentiometer pin, it will get stuck like this. So here on the side, you can use a little self taping screw to fix these buttons. And you can do basically the same for the other side and the front ones too, because of them can be mounted using a little self-taping screw. Other than the 3D printed parts, I also used this screw, I used another screw down here, uh, two bearings, one on this side and one on this side, these rubber bands, as, as I told you before, the potentiometer, the Arduino that is down there and some self-taping screws here one you are going to use here and one here on this side I also use these two small screws here to fix the potentiometer and these two nuts that you will use to fix the screws so they, so they don't like just fall to fix this on the table, I used these little clamps that I got from Bamboo Lab website. I'm going to leave the link on the description so you can download it too. And you basically will put it between the table and this cavity here and then you just uh, screw it and it's basically good to go. So now that we have everything assembled, let's start soldering. First of all, you will want to solder the potentiometer, so you will solder three wires, one to each pin of them, and pass the wires through this triangular hole in here, 
and then on the Arduino that I'm using our, an Arduino Pro Micro down there. Uh, you will solder the middle Arduino pin, the middle potentiometer pin on the uh, on one of the analog pins, uh, one of these side ones into the positive and the other side on the negative. So next you are going to solder these buttons, uh, you will use push buttons 6x6 like these ones you will solder two wires on the diagonals so like this one and this one not on the same side you know and after you solder them with wires you will pass them through these x holes here pass them through and the wires are going to come out here on the side you will uh, you will pass them through until you reach the Arduino and when you reach the Arduino you are going to solder one of the wires on one of the digital pins and the other one into the ground so now that we have got everything assembled let's start coding this thing so you will need a cable like this, it's a, by the way, this is a PS4 controller cable, it's basically a micro USB. If you have any, any, any one of these in, at home, you can just use it. And you will need to download the Arduino IDE as well. So let me give you just some tips on what you're going to, what you need to do here. So, when you download the code for um, the description, you will see that here in the top there are some variables and you are going to change these variables, that these four ones, to the pins that you have soldered your components. Uh, another thing for you to check is this number. This one means like how much your steering wheel is is turned to one side or the other so as you can see when i move it here oh look i moved it a little bit to the right this will go up and up and up and up so the thing that you will need to check is when you are mounting this big gear so you like will put your wheel centered and with it centered, you are going to spin the potentiometer until here it reads 512. So when it's 512 or something near it, it's basically at the middle, at the center. So when it's, it's at the center, you can mount the, the gear. With this, you can guarantee that your wheel are going to be centered. Uh, this code I'm going to leave it on the description so you can just download it, put it on Arduino IDE and connect your USB into your or computer and then into the Arduino and just hit this little button over there and it will upload to the, the Arduino and, and everything is going to be working. The last thing that I want to show you is how to set it up, the wheel, on Aceto Corsa. So you will come here into settings, here the input, you will go here to controls and the input method you will change from keyboard and mouse to wheel. Then here your controller should appear, uh, on steering you will click here on set and then you will spin your wheel a little bit and it will automatically detect the, the axis that is being used. The same goes for the throttle that you are going to use the button back there and the brakes that are going to be the other button back here and with this the wheel should basically work and so let's try it a little bit. Okay, so here we are with everything set up and working. As you can see, the steering is 
really good when I just leave it it will return to the center as you can see here uh, with the back buttons I can accelerate I can break and I really enjoy it to be honest so this was how I built my steering wheel I hope you enjoyed and if you did please give me a like and subscribe to my channel it really matters for me and bye I see you on the next video